Hi, and thanks again for tuning in to the Texas Flycaster video channel. This channel goes with www.texasflycaster.com. That's a website I created back in 2007. Loaded with information and photographs about travels and technicalities on fly fishing in Texas. Thanks for tuning in. Please leave a comment or subscribe. Hi guys, it's Friday, July 14th, and my name is Shannon. Welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This will be audio only this week. So, let me just tell you about a few places that I've been reading about and gleaning information on. Right now, if you want to go to Salt, I would take a look at Sabine Lake. It's the northernmost lake, saltwater lake. Uh, right on the border between Texas and Louisiana. That's a good place. Uh, of course, check your tides, check your winds, and check local information. My philosophy on going anywhere is know before you go because it's a long way to get there. Secondly, for salt, I would look at the Port Mansfield cut on the inside. So you're looking on the inside. That's the bay side of the cut, the land cut, that cuts North Padre Island and South Padre Island. It's about a 30 mile drive up from South Padre Island, but it can be done. I've done it before. Of course, if you've got a boat, you cut across from Port Mansfield. Um, on the inside means around to the inside on the island side. Look for hard sand and you can find fish there. And they're kind of starting with the heat to fade off into deeper water as the water heats up. Fresh water, a whole different story. You want to look at Lake Athens for bass on fly that can be done there quite quite well right now and you're looking at an area around the island there so think about that in Athens Texas East Texas going down there is uh, Lake Belton which is uh, further south towards Waco and two more lakes are really uh, kind of on the radar nationally now and that is Toledo Bend which is a huge lake and Sam Rayburn, which is white, right next door. To, you know, I don't know how crowded these lakes are. I've never been to these lakes, but I have, have an open invitation to go to one of them, Toledo Bend, and I might just have to just pop that one and go. So anyway, that's my information. We'll roll up the music and roll up the scroll. Of course, the scroll is already rolling, so you know what's going on here in Texas. Thanks for listening, and uh, it's probably a nice break not to have to watch. Be sure and check out the website, www.texasflycaster.com for more information during the week. And, of course, the YouTube channel, as always. I hope to have some updates next week from somewhere different. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.